our veterans, but it seems like they're getting more and more every day. <laughs> Uh, there's, there's no, I don't have to tell you this. I'm certain everybody knows this. That there's, there's no excuse for what's happened with the Veterans Administration. Absolutely none. And uh, the only excuse we have is that some of us don't scream bloody murder. And I'm guilty. I'm, I'm guilty as anybody. I, I sometimes give up on writing my congressman. Uh, you can look my congressman up. He's, he's the worst. You know, there's 512 of them, and mine's the worst. His name's Doug Lamborn. And if you haven't heard of him, he's nationally known as the worst. He, there's nobody, in fact, if you took all the congressmen and added them up together for everything they've ever done wrong, Doug Lamborn would rise to the top like cream. So no matter how bad your congressman is, you can always take heart in the fact that there's one worse. And I still write to him. I still write to him because here's what I believe, and, you, and, and I don't mean, to, this is not the sermon today, but I don't believe, you know, we just like five weeks ago, we cut the food stamp program to our military families. And here's what I believe. I don't believe there's one American anywhere in this country that ever wrote to his congressman and say, hey, I got an idea. Why don't you cut the food stamp benefits for our military families? I just don't think that. And, and so if your congressman voted for that, <laughs> you ought to scream bloody murder. I mean, it, it doesn't take but a minute to write to him and say, I'd rather our military families got the food stamps they need because what could be more tragic than somebody living on a military base not being able to afford groceries? I, I bet we all want that. To, I don't mean to get excited here. <laughs> but I'm just saying, just, and, and if you have time, drop a note to Doug Lamborn for me, will you? <laughs> I, I write that sucker every week, and, and, and sometimes I get something back that actually says, Dear Mr. Thomason, we're so glad to hear from you. <laughs> well, do some. <laughs> and I'll guarantee you, along those same lines, I don't think there's one, one American anywhere that, that wants our veterans waiting in line anywhere. They shouldn't, if there's one thing that ought to get you to the front of the line, I don't care where you are. I mean, it shouldn't just be at the hospital, but it by God ought to be there. But it ought to be at the bank, it ought to be at the filling station, it ought to be at the restaurant. I'm, I'm so proud of this gentleman over here. The other day we were coming out of a restaurant and a man that had walked up, well, it wasn't exactly a restaurant. <laughs> we don't actually eat in restaurants. <laughs> but it was fine dining, it was sheets. And <laughs> he had taken the... <laughs> How many people know what sheets are? Oh, yeah, fine dining takes time, doesn't it? <laughs> There's parts of this country that don't even have one of those things where you can punch in what you want to eat and the next thing somebody flops it out there for you. He stopped to greet this, this veteran that was having trouble getting through the door and stuff and, and just helped him out because, and, and I thought, I had to, I had to contain him because I thought he was going to push people out of line. And you know, some people would, would be insulted if you did that. Fortunately, none of them are here. <laughs> and I, I believe that too. Anyways, for the people that asked for this song, it's not a joyous song, but it's a song that needs to be sung and played. And I hope, it, and, and this is, let me just tell you right now, this is so hard for the guys because I don't have any timing. And uh, when I start this off, they don't, ever, they don't know whenever I'm going to change chords because I don't know about that stuff either and that's why we call it old time music One morning as the office was open the man cried out in fear just didn't mind the express office showing signs of grief and tears when the clerk approached him, the old man ended the same. Well, I'm waiting for my boy, sir. He's coming home today. Well, 
girl, you have made a silly mistake. And you must surely know that this is a telegraph officer and not a town depot. Oh, if your boys are coming home, the clerk did smile and say, You'll find them with the passenger, sir, at the station just over the way. The old man shook his head Well, he's not a-coming as a passenger But by express instead He's a-coming home to mother The old man softly said He's coming home in a casket, sir He's coming to us dead taste and quickly rushed outside and then an old white castle was lowered to the ground showing signs of grief and pain to those that gathered around that do not treat him harshly boys it contains our darling jack he went away you boys are this way he's a coming back he broke his poor old mother's heart Her fears had all come true She said it's a way he'd come back If he joined the boys in blue Come back that way too.